everyone and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. Today we're going to be taking a look at the fantastic Chameleon Colour Changing Fine Liners. So I wasn't a massive, massive fan of the Chameleon alcohol markers, which did the same sort of thing, purely on a personal level. I think they were great for what they were meant to do to create those seamless blends. Um, it was just, it seemed for me to take a bit more time than I would need to actually fuse them together, wait for the colour to fuse and then apply them to whatever small section of colouring page I was doing. It seemed a little bit laborious for me personally. However, the guys at Chameleon seem to have really honed this magic technique that they have down and it really, really works with the fine liners. And I think it's just because the, the fusing time seem to have been reduced drastically and it just looks, I don't know, it looks and feels a whole lot cleaner, smoother, simpler and quicker than it did with the alcohol markers. So let's have a look at them first of all. I have the six set here, which I believe is the smallest set that they do. This six set is able to produce 15 different combinations of colour. Now they also come in a 12 pack, actually two 12 packs, the Bright and Designer. And those 12 packs are each able to produce 66 different colour combos from the 12. They also have a 24 pack, which has 276 different combos able to be achieved. And then the biggest 48 pack has 1,128 different combos that you can do with the pens. So massive, massive scope for creativity here. So this six set, as I say, it can do 15 different combos. It comes in this packaging here. You can see uh, it says blend colour, chameleon colour changing fine liners, 15 combinations. And then on the back, it gives you a little bit of instruction of how to do it. So you've got your colours that are included in the pack, RD2, OR4, YO2, GR3, BL7 and PR4, all of which the codes you will recognise from the previous, the original colour alcohol markers from Chameleon and then you've got as I say a bit of instruction here so you can either use them as a complete um, singular colour pen so in your journal your bullet journal your diary whatever if you just want a yellow pen use the yellow pen if you want to get into the magic and start blending you can use the red cap over the yellow you can use the purple cap over the green whatever you want and create a two colour blend you can also create more colour blends, uh, as many really, as you have. So you'll see later on in the video, we're going to try a rainbow blend with the whole six pens from this set. But you can do, in theory, as many as you like. So uh, yeah, it's going to be really fun to test that out. So you can write, you can colour with them, you can draw with them. It's totally up to you. Also, they're water-based so completely different to their alcohol chameleon pen, which will soak and bleed through pretty much everything. These are water-based, so they don't bleed through most most papers, really, unless it's a really, really thin stock. So you've got, uh, you've got that chance to use them in your double-sided colouring books for the first time. It has a patented dual ink system, so that means that you've got ink in both the barrel of the pen and also in the cap as well, so that there's ink contained in both sides of the pen. They're dry safe, so if you leave them uncapped for a day or two, it's totally fine, they won't go dry on you. And uh, there are instructions in the pack as well, just to give you a little bit more of an uh, in-depth look at how they blend together. But I'm gonna be showing you that anyway. So um, the pens themselves are quite long of a barrel. Uh, let's see if I can measure them. Have we got the measuring? Here we go. So barrel measures, so 15, around about 16, 17 centimetres. So it's, it's quite long for a pen, but it's not really, you know, it's not too long. If we compare it to this Pilot pen here, it's, which is quite standard, it's not too long, but it just needs that extra length so that you can have loads of ink contained in both the barrel and the cap. Now the actual nibs themselves are 0.3 mil let's try and get a good focus on this so they're 0.3 mil really fine and great for you to write with so they're not too thick and they're not too thin either because i often find with fine liners if you get the really really thin type the 0 0.1 or the 0 0.01 is it or the 0 0.05 they're just too thin to write with and you end up bending the tip these are just right at 0.3 mil and they're also metal clad for durability as well 
It has a triangular barrel, so it's easy to grip and hold on to for long periods of time. It also has the colour on the end, so you can see here, let me move these. It's got the colour on the end here, and it's also got the colour on the cap. So you're not going to get mixed up if you end up taking all your colour caps off and thinking, oh gosh, which one goes into which? They're both labelled with the colour, so that's great. They're also labelled with that code, this is PR4, both sides and you've got the chameleon changing colour logo on there. They feel really nice to hold as well, just, you know, aesthetically, they feel really nice. They've got a kind of matte barrel that's kind of shiny, but it's not glossy, and I don't know, it just has a really professional kind of feel to it. Um, so let's get started having a good look at what you can do with these pens. So the great thing about these Chameleon Fine Liners is that you can get a really long blend just from a few seconds of fusing together. So it makes the whole process really, really quick, enabling you to get a great uh, blend going immediately. So you don't really need to sit there with the chamber pressed to the pen like you would do with the original Chameleon alcohol markers. It seemed to take a little bit longer of fuse time for you to get a longer blend. These fuse really, really quickly, as you'll see. So I've got a green and a purple here. Let's take off the caps. And uh, with the green pen, I'm going to pop it into the purple cap for just one second and you'll see what I mean. So one, take it off. This is a green pen, don't forget. And you'll see the bright purple that's already fused in there. Purple to green combo after one second. You can see it's just getting lighter and lighter. I'll just pop the other two greens out. So that was an instant combo after just one second. Let's try three seconds of fusing now. So one, two, three. And let's try that again. So I'll write exactly the same thing, purple to green. And you'll see that the purple is actually a lot brighter on this one because it's been on for longer. So you're getting more purple. After three seconds, you'll have to excuse my terrible handwriting. And then we'll just do some lines to make sure that it goes back to fully saturated green. Now let's try for 10 seconds and see how long a combo we can get. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Purple to green combo after 10 seconds. We've still got a really purple line and then it just slowly fades down into dark purple and then green. Always remember to make sure that your pen is completely back to its original colour before you recap it. Uh, and there you go, so that you can see just the difference in a few seconds of fusing. And even with the one second, I think that's a, a really kind of long fuse, to be honest, for the amount of words that you've written. Um, so what we're going to try next is a multiple colour blend. So let's move the paper down a bit and let's go from purple to red to yellow that would be quite a nice combo i think so we'll go for a three second fuse on each i'm going to start off with the let me think yeah start off with the yellow and then pop the red chamber let me just get this right pop the red chamber onto the yellow for three seconds there goes all my other papers falling off the desk and then we're going to do the same with the purple so one two three and then the purple for one two three so we should be starting with purple yep there it is purple to red to yellow combo still on purple so i'll just keep going with a line and see how long it takes we're on to red now and the red slowly changing into more of an orange tone So this was just three seconds for each colour and we're still not onto the yellow yet. I think we might be back to the 
original yellow color yeah we are so again just three seconds on each combo and you can see uh, how beautifully it graduates from one colour to the next. There's no weird sort of muddy looking intermission of colour. It really flows really, really well and the colour changes beautifully. Okay, so I want to try a whole rainbow blend with all six of the pens in one go. So I'm going to start off with the darkest colour, which is the purple, the last bit of the rainbow. So we don't need the purple colour cap. And then I'm going to go through blue, green, yellow, orange, red, in turn and hopefully we'll get a beautiful rainbow fuse coming out of that so purple pen blue cap we'll do it for one two three then we'll put the green on top for one two three then the yellow for one two three and the orange one two, three, doing this in real time so you can see it. Finally, the red, one, two, three. So we should, in theory, get a really, really nice rainbow blend going on. So we should have red first. Yep, we've got red, that's going into orange. Orange going into yellow which is going into a very light green and then the green's brightening up and that should fuse into a blue. So we've got a bit of an aqua kind of blue and the blue should eventually fuse into the purple that we started off with. So you're going right through the whole spectrum of the rainbow until you end up back at the bright purple that we begin with. Isn't that fantastic? So it's gone through the entire range and the transitions, as I say, are just absolutely beautiful. Um, and that's just with a three second fuse and you can use every single one of your pens to do a rainbow thing. So say you wanted to write a paragraph for an essay or you're making a poster or you just want to make it look, you know, a gorgeous flowing rainbow. You can definitely do that and just play around with the times that you're fusing for. So you can see I've got loads of words out of this. Um, just for the three second fuse but if you wanted to do a bit of a longer paragraph maybe try a 10 second fuse on each color totally up to you to sit and play around with it and it's just so much fun to to have that kind of um childlike uh experimentation i guess so we've had a go at messing around with some of the colour combinations that you can achieve from the chameleon pens. Can you just imagine if you had the whole 48 pack and you did the whole rainbow all the way through? It'd be incredible. Um, now, I have to tell you that if you get these from cult pens at the moment they are giving away for free with every single chameleon purchase whether that's the six pack or the 48 pack or the alcohol markers they're giving away a free pack of color cards which are also made specifically by chameleon for their alcohol markers but of course you can use the water based on them as well and i'll just show you this one this one's called zen and it has eight designs there's 16 different cards and they're four by six inches you open it up You've got the actual pad of cards itself so you've got all the different designs here this is as i say the zen design book they come off really really easily because they're glued at the top they've got an easy release i'll just take one off so you can see so they're kind of like postcards so if i just do it this way it'd be easier so you can pull off each card and it's going to have a completely straight edge because of that glue binding so that's that and then also you get a little wallet filled with some ideas and inspiration for these exact designs so it also tells you exactly which ones to use so you can see a few of these here and these are really really good quality cardstock so as you know they're both the same actually this it's really really thick and as I say it's designed to work with alcohol ink so it has to be so you can see just some of the different color blends that you can achieve for this particular pack they also come with a link to different tutorials for every single design so you can actually go online and watch the video of these being colored with the chameleon pens so it's, it's awesome really but you know as i say these are made for the alcohol marker specifically but you can definitely use them um, with your 
chameleon fine liners doesn't matter that they're water based so yeah you get a free pack of those and you get to choose which design you want as well there's loads of different ones there's zen and there's florals i think and just loads of different ones that you can choose don't forget though if you do go and do that you have to add the pack of color cards that you want to the basket they don't just get sent with your order of the chameleon so don't forget to do that because i'd hate for you to miss out on receiving a free pack of color cards so as usual all of the links will be in the description to buy your different chameleon fine liners and of course different color cards uh, what else can I say about them apart from I think that Chameleon have done a fantastic job transitioning from alcohol to water based and still having that blend work and work so well. Um, I wish I had the whole set of these because they're absolutely incredible. I can just imagine all of the combos you could get out of them. I'd love to know if you buy them and all the different things you do with them. If you colour a page maybe or if you do some really nice bullet journal spreads. Do let me know. Do tag me on Instagram, Facebook, anywhere you can and I'd love to see how you work with them. Any questions just ask of course and I will see you soon on Colour with Claire.